So today, I just received my Atoma clock radio, and right off the bat, as soon as I plugged it in, the time was already correct. The digital display has a large viewable format and shows the day and time of the alarms you set. As you see, on top of your Itoma clock radio, you'll have your interface. You have your alarm set 1, alarm set 2, time set, sleep, radio on and off, classic snooze button, and then over here you'll have your alarms 1 off, 1 on, alarm 2 on and off. As we move to the back of the Itoma clock radio, you'll see some more inputs. Right here, you'll have your DC 5 volt in for plugged into the wall. You have a USB charge music slot, so you can listen to your music through USB or you can charge your phone. We have an auxiliary input for listening to the radio. Here we have the cage for the lithium ion battery, just in case it's not plugged into the wall. And over here, you'll have your dimmer, high and low. And what this does is it adjusts the front interface of your radio. So if we dim it down and dim it up, it changes how it looks, allowing ease of not only eyesight, but viewability as well. We also have, and finally, the DST plus one on and minus switch. One thing I forgot to mention that is also on the top is our scroll wheel. Scrolling it forward increases the volume scrolling it backward decreases the volume. If we click right once or left once, then you are going to be changing radio stations. You can also hold the button and it will cycle through the radio station for both left and right. Probably one of the most exciting features on the Itoma radio clock is that it comes with a projector. Now what this projector does is it projects the time at which it is showing. 